Welcome to our Smart Healthcare Snapshot on digital healthcare and the Internet of Medical Things. Healthcare is rapidly transforming, leveraging technology advances from private LTE networks to advanced 5G networks to deliver personalized care and real-time data sharing. With AI, IoT and connected systems, we are revolutionizing healthcare to create a trusted, secure and patient-centric future. Join us as we explore the exciting possibilities of digital healthcare together with our expert. I'm here with Karsten Brockman, our Market Director for Connected Health Solutions. And a little known fact about Karsten, he started his career as a visual artist when the web was born back in 1989. Back then, he wanted to know if web technology could be used by creative people. So Karsten decided to change subjects and got his master's degree in computer science instead. Since then, he's been working in the field of telecommunications. Karsten, can you tell us the story? What's behind your passion for connected health? My passion for the medical IoT is driven by the good example of my dad, a pharmacist. He has survived type 1 diabetes for more than 70 years without any long-term effects because of his consistent adherence to glucose monitoring throughout his life. The ease of ever-evolving continuous glucose monitoring was the secret to my father's medical success. A perfect paradigm for digital and connected health. That's true. Carson, can you give an example of telecetirin technology in connected medical devices? The current medical focus for our 4G cellular modules is in remote patient monitoring. Take the world's largest medical device maker in the field of cloud-connected devices to treat sleep apnea and other respiratory conditions. This leading company uses our wireless communication technology in millions of new devices around the globe every year. The connected devices provide digital health services, such as caregivers can monitor health outcomes, patients can receive medical recommendations, and insurers can track usage for device reimbursement. Can you tell us a little bit about the ecosystem and the players in connected healthcare? The pandemic has accelerated the adoption of digital health solutions across the healthcare sector. Smart pharmaceuticals that can monitor trials, drug adherence, efficacy and side effects in real time. Medical device makers that can provide personalized feedback to patients and remotely diagnose and update their products. Health IoT platforms that can integrate data from multiple sources and devices and provide personalized insights and recommendations. Caregivers who can access patient information, communicate with other providers and deliver care through telehealth platforms. Policymakers and healthcare insurers who can adapt to this new reality with innovative regulations and practices. Fantastic. And how do you see this market evolving over the next few years? Earlier this year, Berg Insight published a very comprehensive report on mHealth. The number of connected medical monitoring devices in the global market currently stands at 65 million and is expected to reach 126 million by 2027. Cellular 4G and 5G connectivity remains the de facto communication technology for most types of medical monitoring devices. In addition, we see emerging use cases such as decentralized clinical trials, personalized medicine and medical drones, as well as wireless hospitals, mobile clinics, care robots, remote surgery or first responder communication, all of which will further expand the traditional remote patient monitoring market. And from your perspective, Karsten, what are the key issues for connected health? I'd like to start with private 4G LTE networks and how they can provide direct-to-cloud communication for all healthcare stakeholders across the ecosystem. Next, there are advanced 5G network capabilities that benefit connected healthcare systems. Then I will show you how 4G and 5G communication modules with built-in digital security help you to design connected medical things that meet the stringent requirements of the US FDA and the European MDR. Finally, I will discuss end-to-end -end security. Choosing a trusted IoT vendor ensures that your medical devices, the connectivity 
and sensitive patient data are safe from internal and external threats. Because of their global availability, 4G networks are now the best choice for reliably connecting patients and caregivers everywhere. However, to ensure patient data privacy, dedicated access points must be used in the mobile network core. These private access points, or APNs, connect the remote medical devices, the secure network, and a private computer network by using industry standard IPsec encryption. Patient data in transit is completely isolated from any other mobile or internet traffic. Here at Talit Centurion, we are offering such a private APN with our next connectivity service. With our core APN and VPN setup, remote medical devices can become a virtual and cybersecure extension of national EHR platforms, clinical backend systems, or digital care clouds. Now let's take a look at some of the medical grade features that 5G mobile networks have to offer. 5G enhanced mobile broadband comes with higher data speeds than 4G, which is useful for remote surgery. Indoor 5G enables ultra-reliable, low-latency communication, which can help to decouple hospital equipment in the operating room from cumbersome cabling. And with massive machine-type communication, 5G combines high indoor density of connected body sensors with precise positioning across a hospital campus or a nursing home. But there's one new concept in 5G that makes it especially attractive for connected healthcare. 5G slicing. A 5G healthcare slice can combine virtually any communication resource such as radio spectrum, private APNs or quality of service parameters. A 5G health slice hereby allows patients to roam freely and securely inside or outside the hospital and without interference from other 5G network users. 5G slicing can be set up for connected ambulances, intense outpatient care, or remote care robots, to name a few. For example, our engineering team in Berlin is working with a 6G Health Institute in Germany. In their 5G Health Lab, they are connected to the public health slice of Telefonica's 5G mobile network. This lab is open for medical device companies to experiment with. I'm Hartmut Lück. I'm supporting the 6G Health Institute in Leipzig to deploy the campus network, uh, which will be built off a technology called slicing, which is one of the first in Germany. My name is Christoph Tümmler and I'm the chief medical officer of the 6G Health Institute in Leipzig in Germany. We're looking at medical technologies and network technologies that help us to improve medicine in the future. Currently, there is a huge demand in the market for networked medical devices. Let's talk about typical cellular modules that our medical IoT customers use to connect remote devices over private 4G networks and 5G healthcare slices. 4G CADEM – tiny battery-powered modules can connect to both private 4G APNs and 5G core networks to outdoor GPS and indoor Wi-Fi positioning for years. 4G CAD1 BIS modules are the best mid-speed option today due to widest private 4G network coverage globally. IoT systems on a module give you all-in-one 4G CAD4, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GNSS, graphics and multi-core Android processing. On the other hand side, 5G RedCap coming 2024 in select 5G standalone networks offer a mid-speed evolution of LTE CAT1, CAT4 technology. And with 5G sub-6 and millimeter wave, that's the holy grail for medical use cases with enhanced mobile broadband and ultra-reliable low-latency communication. Cybersecurity readiness is mandated by medical device regulators such as the US FDA and HIPAA the EU Medical Device Regulation and NIS2, and the International Medical Device Regulators Forum. 
Let me quote Dr. Susan Schwartz of the FDA. After a good number of years informing the ecosystem how critical cybersecurity is to patient safety and the security of the public health infrastructure, we now have this put into law. The global mandate is clear. Connected medical devices must have state-of-the-art cybersecurity, post-market security updates, and a trusted software bill of materials. We're coming to the end of our Connected Healthcare session, and I'd like to share with you what we at Talet Centurion believe a trusted IoT technology provider should offer to ensure regulatory cybersecurity compliance. It all starts with security by design, based on trusted digital identities and penetration testing. Minimum module features should include secure boot, secure key stores, security credentials, and signed software updates. Module vendors should provide trusted cloud platforms with firmware hosting and security lifecycle management. Indeed. And Karsten, what are the key takeaways for our audience today? The connected healthcare ecosystem is challenging, but rapidly evolving. I think the top three takeaways from this session are how to choose the right IoT technology and partner for remote patient monitoring and the smart hospital. Why using private 4G APNs and 5G slices along with trusted IoT modules and digital security is essential for connected healthcare. And how IoT remote patient monitoring can improve the patient journey and the health outcomes. So Karsten, any final thoughts? For us at Telecenterion, the patients should be in the driver's seat of their health journey. They should be able to trust the partners with whom they share their data with, be it the pharmacist, their insurance company, their caregiver, or simply their family. That's my vision for medical IoT. Thank you again for all your insights, Karsten. And thanks to you out there for watching. Feel free to leave a comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay tuned, stay connected. Thank you.